Hey guys, happy fall. I have a cute pumpkin cookie tutorial today. I hope you have so much fun making these cookies. They're perfect for personalizing or using as a place setting at your Thanksgiving table. Let me show you how to make them. Let's cookie it up. The first step for making these cookies is tracing the leaf tag onto the cookie first. So I have my template and you can download this template on this cookie cutter product page on flowerbox.com. I'm just tracing that on using the yellow marker and then I'm going to outline that leaf. This is the tag on this pumpkin cookie. I'm going to outline it using white with piping icing and tip number two. Now I'm going to outline each section of the pumpkin. You can see how those sections are going to be fanning out. And I'm really using the shape of the cookie to help guide my piping. So I'm just bringing those piped lines up and around. And when I get to that little notch in the pumpkin, I know to bring that section back in and start the next one. One neat thing is if you use that leaf template, you'll know that when you bring your pipelines in, you'll hit the center every time. Now to get that gorgeous dimension on this pumpkin, we're going to flood alternating icing areas and let them dry before we flood in the neighbor. This will just create that beautiful definition line between those icing sections. Also, there is a little bit of pumpkin that's peeking through the circle on the tag. You can go ahead and add that now, and I just flatten it out using my paintbrush. All right, those little sections had a chance to dry in front of the fan for about 45 minutes to an hour, and now I'm ready to jump back in and flood in the remaining sections of the pumpkin. Notice how generous I am with the flood that'll help keep the icing puffed up and I'll also use a boo-boo stick just to clean up the seam between those icing areas, just even things out and get a nice straight line. Now I had so much fun picking the colors for this project. On this video, I'm using the new pumpkin colored gel from the Sugar Art. Check out the photo at the end with all these gorgeous pumpkins. You can see the dusty rose, the autumn gold, the taupe. Uh, these are just really fun to make. The green sage made a gorgeous pumpkin as well. So I hope you have fun making these pumpkins in all different colors. Now it's time to generously flood in that tag. That tag is resting on the top of the pumpkin. That's where we're gonna do some personalizing. So I like to flood that last just so it sticks out on top. Add a large dot of brown using piping icing. And then I have a tip number 1.5 on my taupe. And I'm just adding the string that is tying the tag onto the pumpkin. Notice the placement of those pipelines. Just makes it look like that string is going behind the tag on that top left side. Now I'm going to add my sister's name, Sarah, to this pumpkin because I made a bunch of these pumpkins. I'm gonna pop them in the freezer for Thanksgiving day and I'm personalizing each one. So with Sarah's name, it's nice and short. I feel like I can fit those five letters in cursive going across that tag. I'm using a tip number one just to have a little bit more control over the flow of the icing. And notice how I am using a thinner hand pressure as I'm pulling out each of those letters. For this video, I'm using my trusty copy cake projector. It it is a great option, but there are some other digital projectors available out there, the Kodak Luma and the Pico projector. I'll put links to those in the status below in case you're interested in comparing the features and the prices. I will say the copy cake is super easy to use. It is very large and typically you have to use it in a dark room. I just like how easy it is, but the other projectors are going to be much smaller and definitely a little bit brighter. So. 
You choose after you look through all of those options. I hope you enjoyed seeing this really fun, quick and cute pumpkin tutorial. I hope it's a great option for you this fall and Thanksgiving. Check out the Flower Box Instagram page for some tips on how to package this guy. Share a video showing a cookie box and some backers and some free tags. That's all for today. Until next time, happy decorating.